upon his throne. Our cargo heavenly anthem drops for music but is so awake my soul and see of him who died for thee and hail him as thy matchless king through all eternity. Devotion to Christ the King Prayer in honor of Christ the King Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Come, let us adore him. Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Come, let us adore him. The Lord said to me, You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. As of me, and I shall bequeath you the nations. Put the ends of the earth in your possession. Jesus Christ is King of kings. Come, let us adore him. Now, O kings, understand. Take warning, rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with awe and trembling. Pay him homage. Jesus Christ is King of kings. Come, let us adore him. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, it is your will to unite the entire universe under your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the King of heaven and earth. Grant freedom to the whole of creation and let it praise and serve your majesty forever. We make our prayer through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, our King and Shepherd, gather your flock from every corner of the earth. Protect it in your fresh and fertile pastures of your word and sacraments. Jesus, our leader and savior, make all people your own. Heal the sick, seek out the lost, preserve the strong, bring back the strayed, reunite those who are scattered, and give new hope to the downhearted. Jesus, Prince of Peace, remove from the people's hearts the greed that leads to war. Speak words of peace to your people. Jesus, heir of all nations, Bring all humankind to the kingdom of the Father. Move all peoples to acknowledge you as head in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, Good Shepherd, you lay down your life for your sheep. Guide us to make most of our opportunities for spreading your reign. Jesus, our Redeemer, you are the king of the entire universe. Restore all things to yourself by the power of your spirit. Jesus, king of all nations, you came into the world to bear witness to the truth. Make all peoples aware of your primacy in all things. Jesus, our master and model, you have brought us into your kingdom. Help us to give an example which is worthy of you. Jesus, firstborn of all creation and first to be born from the dead. Bring all the departed to the glory of your resurrection. In the silence of our hearts, let us present our deeds and petitions to our compassionate King. Let us pray. Father, 
all-powerful God of love. You have raised our Lord Jesus Christ from death to life, resplendent in glory as King of creation. Open our hearts, free all the world to rejoice in his peace, to glory in his justice, to live in his love. Bring all humankind together in Jesus Christ, your Son, whose kingdom is with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Mass presider for tonight is Reverend Father Ron Ray, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all the we need here at the table. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to our Holy Mass celebration. We thank our Lord for gathering us to be together, to worship Him, to give Him thanks, and to also give our request and intentions for ourselves and for our families and for our country. And for us to worthily offer this Mass, let us first recall our sins and ask God for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts 
we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. All the ways of a man may be right in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who proves hearts. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the tillage of the wicked is seen. The plans of the diligent are sure of profit, but all rust haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbor finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simple are the wiser. When the wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The just man appraises the house of the wicked. There is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and your Brothers are standing outside, and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Muli sa magandang gabi po sa ating lahat, lalo sa mga ngayon nakaabot sa homily part. 
pagpalainawa tayo lagi ng ating po may kapal. Ang kanya pagmamahal sa atin ay hindi kumukupas at hindi po nauubos, kundi ito ay umaapaw lagi. Para po sa ating gagawing pagninilay, uh, dalawa ang ating bagay na pag-uusapan based in the gospel. Una, first point, una, pinakita po sa gospel na itong si Jesus ay member ng isang family, human family. Ayon sa gospel, Mary and mga kapatid ni Jesus would like to see him and so that Jesus may join them for a while. We have to clarify, sa gospel, ginamit yung silitang brothers. Tinanong ko yung kaklasiko na nasa aming seminaryo na nag-aral. Yung salitang brothers, hangi ito sa Greek na Adelphos. Pag sinabing brother, hindi lang siya limited to blood brother, but it is broad and extensive. Ibig sabihin din ito ay nephew, cousin, half-brother. So, pag sinabi, Jesus, your brothers are looking for you. So, it could have broad meaning. It doesn't mean immediately that Jesus has blood brothers. I want to point out that family is important. Sa Philippine family code, I check, yung family is defined as a relationship between married couples, husband and wives. It is also defined as relationship between parents and children. So, yan ang family, magulang, anak. And then, relationship between magkakapatid, whether half or full. That's the basic meaning. And alam nyo po, family is important for physical, mental, and emotional nourishment. Marami ang kakakilala this pandemic dahil nawalan trabaho sa Manila na dito ang kanilang family, they hard, hard up economically. Ang ginawa ng mga parents nila sa probinsya, they were pinabalik sila sa province for a while. Naisip ko, buti pa sila may nauwian. Paano yung ibang walang mawe na family? Anyway, the family is important for physical, mental, and emotional nourishment. Uh, why we need a family? Bakit pala natin kailangan ang pamilya? Simply because we need one another. We need one another. God made Adam and Eve kasi ang main purpose why God created Eve para may makasama si Jesus, eh, si Adam at may katuwang si Adam. Ibig sabihin pala, dapat that should give a, a call sa lahat ng member ng family. Dapat, we also have to do our share. Maging maayos na kasama at katuwang sa buhay, that what makes a family. Ibig sabihin, if you're not doing your share, you are not doing your obligation as member of family. One cannot survive by being alone. The basic element po pala of a family, yung the, yung, the family gives a sense of belongingness, sense of acceptance, sense of affirmation, and approval. And these are the deepest longings and needs of all of us. Kaya po sana, those of you listening right now, wherever you are right now, just in case before pandemic, kung may mga conflicts tayo within the family or nagkasamaan ng loob along the way, hindi na nag-usap-usap. Ang iba sa atin siguro, bago pa nag-pandemic, social distancing, ilang taon na nag-social distancing, hindi na nag-usap-usap, mga kapatid. I believe during this pandemic, let us find a way to repair our relationships. And if we think we cannot anymore go back to the things we were before, at least relate to one another with kindness, with justice, and with charity, and civility, professional man lamang, yung naging gitian pa at nag-uusap. Maybe some of us may complain that we are hurt so much by our own family story. Or maybe some of us may complain, we blame, the pre- we blame our present situation, our attitude, 
our personality and character our present life because of the wounds we receive during our early family years. Well, just in case that is our sentiments and feeling, they are all valid because you are the one who experienced them. But there is something we cannot deny. What is that? You know, the very source of our pain in life is also the very source of our healing and happiness. What that does mean? Kaya some people, because of so much pain they experienced from their family for a long time, they distance themselves. Pero alam niyo, nakita ko sa marami family na encounter ko, we cannot deny the fact that we need our family also for our own healing, peace, and freedom. Kaya nga, whenever I, go, I visit hospitals, bless the sick, nasa paligid yung kanilang family members, and usually, nabalitaan ko, ngayon lang sila nakita-kita ulit. At padagimis ako marami sa funeral homes, maraming family members, because that was the time again, nakita-kita sila, nakaayos-ayos, nakapatawaran, and you will see on their faces the energy and the life on each one's faces and eyes. Bakit pala ganito? Kasi let us be reminded, God created us to be one in love and to be one in Him in love. And He sent the Lord Jesus Christ to be our model. He lo- Jesus loves Mary. Jesus loves His relatives. Kaya nga, sabi ng kap- kaklasiko, one of the evidence na wala talaga kapatid si Jesus, blood blood, di ba He was dying on the cross? At inhabili niya si Ma- Mama Mary kay John, you see, Jesus was thinking so deeply for his family. Pangalawa, short na lang ito, the next point I would like to point out, sabi din ni Jesus, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. Alam niyo po, ang mga salitang ito ni Jesus, kung isipin, we considered it self-explanatory no more further explanation. Naisip ko nga, hindi na saan ako nag sa inyo. Kasi actually, yun naman ang point ni Jesus. Anyone who hears and acts on the word of God, members of my family, kung sa basketball, three points, swak na swak, it is clear, kung nandito matay si Lupang Ibabaw, our ultimate goal is God, to be members of God's family. And Jesus is telling us that there are requirements if we want to belong, to hear God's word and acting on them. Tama talaga sabi ng first reading. Sabi ng first reading, to do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. In closing, uh, to close this reflection, Hearing, pag sinabing hearing, we means opening our two ears to hear, paying attention to what our Lord is saying to us in whatever experiences we find ourselves, whether in highs or lows. And after listening to God's voice, we put those words of God for us in concrete behavioral action. And this is what we call obedience. And for the Lord, obedience is better than sacrifice because obedience leads us to salvation, to God's family. Let us rise, friends. Jesus' message of the gospel and his own life are our guidelines in seeking God's will Let us pray to God our Father that we may follow Him and live His message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may live the spirit of the Gospel and always seek God's will. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may deepen our faith by extending services to the poor the handicapped, and the disadvantaged. We pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That we may become true members of God's family by being faithful to the will of the Heavenly Father, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may make God's word alive in us by living it out in the daily circumstances of life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the most vulnerable in the population, our dear senior citizens, those who have pre-existing medical conditions, and the poor, that they may be protected from contracting the virus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find perpetual light and eternal rest, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for other personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, make us worthy to belong to your family by our life of faith expressed in our good deeds. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and archangels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Oh, 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, Ong Choco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Friends, gathering all our prayers into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Ang kapayapaan ng Panginoon Diyos ay laging sa inyo. And with your spirit. Tayo pa ay magbigay ng kapayapaan sa isa't isa. Would you please to everyone? Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Manilangin tayo. Let us pray. Tomorrow pala ay Feast of Padre Pio. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to, to ask, ask your protection, protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical expert that they minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renato Nitz, Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. Hey, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you.
Hail, Mary full of grace. 